Hi, today we're going to be going over this problem from the 2021 Hong Kong Math Olympiad. I want to give a thanks to at Hong Kong Math Lover for sending me this problem on Instagram. His Instagram handle is linked in the description below. If any of you want to see me solve a problem, you can simply include the source of the problem in the comments of any video or DM me on Instagram. If the problem seems interesting, I'll definitely make a video on it. Anyways, the problem is from the 2021 Paper 2 part of the Hong Kong Math Olympiad. It asks us to evaluate this expression right here. And I guess I suppose that it is equal to some integer. So we're supposed to find this. If you want to pause the video and give the problem a try, you can do so now. Now that I hope you've given the problem a try, here's how to do it. Well, we know that this 10,000 here is just some arbitrary number like x or something. So, well, we can substitute it as x. So perhaps it seems like for numbers of these form that are separated by 2, 2, 2, and then added to 16, there should be some nice uh, closed form expression for that. Notice that there's a square root here. So that gives us motivation that this expression right here, it's perhaps a square. So well, if I do substitute 10,000 as x, I get, well, this is x times x plus 2 times x plus 4 times x plus 6 plus 16. And, well, you can't really factor this as a square because it's got a lot of cubic and single degree terms. And obviously, we can't have those in squares, so the odd degree terms. So that gives us motivation to substitute something that, when multiplied out, we get no odd degree terms. So, well, we know that if I have b minus 1, b plus 1, that's b squared minus 1. So perhaps we should get some substitutions that reduce this to x plus a, x minus a, so that I can get x squared minus a squared in here. Uh, well, if I do try that, it seems that I should choose some number between the numbers given here. Let's say I try out the number between 10,000 and 10,002, that's, if I put this as x, well, this is x minus 1, this is x plus 1, that's good. But then this is x plus 3, and this is x plus 5, and that's not what we really want. If I try a number between 10,002 and 10,003, if I put this as x, well, this is then going to be x minus 3, this is going to be x minus 1, well, this is going to be x plus 1, that's good, we do want that, and this is going to be x plus 3, and hey, that's actually exactly what we want because these two, they're going to multiply out nicely and then these two are going to multiply out nicely as well. So if I do have the plus 16 here and I substitute x equals 10,003, we can try to maybe expand this and see where we get up, We see where we go from there. Well, multiplying the x minus 3 with the x plus 9, that's x squared minus 9. Multiplying the x minus 1 with the x plus 1, that's x squared minus 1 plus 16. So if I do try to expand this, that would be x to the 4 minus 9x squared minus x squared, that's minus 10x squared. And then that's plus 9 plus 16, that's plus 25. And hey, uh, maybe a lot of you notice something nice now, but you see that this is uh, 5 times 5. This is 5 plus 5, so I can factor this as a square, which is what we're looking for. This is just x squared minus 5 whole squared. And hey, that's the expression here inside the radical. So if I do take a square root of that, we see that the value that we have to evaluate, let's just call it s. Well, it's simply x squared minus 5, where x is 10,003. So our answer would be 10,003 whole squared minus 5. But we can get an integer expression for this. We can just uh, write this as 10,000 or for, I guess, better writing, we can say 10 to the 4 plus 3 whole squared minus 5. I can expand this now. This is going to be 10 to the 8 plus, well, that's going to be 6 times 10 to the 4, or in other words, 60,000. That's going to be 9. That's going to be minus 5. So that's going to be plus 4. Uh, 10 to the 10 is, uh, 10 to the 8 is, uh, well, 10 to the 6 is a million, so 10 to the 8 would be 100 million. So we see that the answer to our problem is s equals 100 million, 
So this is 60,000 and 4. And that's the problem solved. I really like that because you see these algebra puzzles a lot where you have to make clever substitution and there's always some very good motivation behind the substitution. So special thanks again to at a Hong Kong math lover for sending me this problem. It was quite nice. I enjoyed it. That marks the end of the video. If you did enjoy the video, leave a like and comment what you liked the most. If you did not enjoy the video, also leave a comment letting me know how I can improve. I'm always open to hearing your suggestion. Please don't forget to subscribe and also hit the bell notification so that you can get notified whenever I post. I also have an Instagram page where I post notes regarding theory in mathematics. If that is interesting to you, please do consider following that as well. My at is creative underscore math underscore.